morning, Angela. How are you? Hi, Morgan. How are you? Good, good. I just wanted to, you know, check in today. Um, we had talked about you adding in some walking at work on your breaks. Have you been doing that? And yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's going okay? It's going good. I would like to start jogging a little bit, so I've added about 30 seconds. But I guess um, when I started the rehab program, what I was really hoping to achieve was the ability to get back to the life I had before my procedure, able to take care of my grandkids, go to work, and just live life. We know when people go to cardiac rehab and they're adherent to it, that they do fairly well clinically. The challenge for the healthcare system then becomes how do we sustain those gains that were achieved in cardiac rehab? Yeah, so the purpose of the intervention was to see if that by providing them with uh, a continuing incentive and contact with a counselor and with a way of measuring their steps and a goal, whether that would allow them to continue to maintain their activity after graduation. And then even in the food realm, are you feeling like there's other things you'd like to explore that you want to go for? Yes, yes. I've um, been eating more raw vegetables. So our idea was to take advantage of some relatively uh, new technology using a Fitbit physical activity tracker and some health coaching, which can be done remotely. Yes, she was able to motivate me because I like southern style salty, greasy foods. That is no longer part of my, uh, my diet occasionally, but she was able to convince me and show me that, you know, this stuff is just not good. And if I wanted to run a 5K, I had to change all of my lifestyle. These different icons, and they'll show you like your calories burn. So you can see every day, okay, how many calories you're burning each day. You've been rocking. And I love the Fitbit. Uh, I check it continually. Uh, I set my alarm on it so that I can be reminded to get up every hour to walk 250 steps and also my goal is always 10,000 plus steps a day. I just want to do well. I want them to see that I was not a waste of time to help me improve my life. It's amazing how quickly people fall off the wagon when they leave the cardiac grip, even though they know they're supposed to do it. So, you know, you have, so you have a friendly policeman on your wrist and you know someone's going to call you and you know your doctor is going to see it. You know, I think the trilogy, the trilogy of that holds people accountable and they do it. Only about 20 to 30 percent of people that are eligible to come to site-based cardiac rehab attend. So what mobile health does, it gives us an opportunity to reach those other 80 percent of people that can't come. And based on the results of this study, I think we can have a large effect on those people that can't come to site-based cardiac rehab. It's in a very exciting time uh, to be using mobile technology for long-term health care. I have, I have great moves, dance moves, and I am happy. Yeah, I tell my grandkids, I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> Life is good.